Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Five Nights at Freddy's on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Unfortunately, this game is not native to the Mac operating system and therefore we're going to have to run the Windows version of the game and we're going to be running it through a virtual machine. So the very first thing that we're going to do is installing Windows 11 ARM on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac and the best way to do this is to follow my video tutorial and I'll leave a link to this in the description. All you have to do is to go ahead and click on the free trial and you can go to the Parallels website go ahead and download free trial. If you do decide to keep Windows 11 on, you can go ahead and click buy now and click new license. And when you make a purchase, you have the option to enter a coupon code. So you can enter the coupon code AppleWiki10, click apply, and then you'll get a 10% discount. So make sure to take advantage of this discount. So once you've gone ahead and installed Windows 11 ARM, what we're going to do is to hop into the virtual machine. So you can see here we're running Windows 11 alongside the Mac operating system. And the very next thing they're going to need to do is to download and install Steam. So if you don't have Steam installed already, you can just go ahead and open up Microsoft Edge. And then we can go to the steampower.com website and then we can go ahead and install Steam. And if you don't have an account already, you can go ahead and create one. So once we have the Steam software installed, what we can do is to go to the store. We're going to type in the word Five Nights at Freddy's. And then we're going to go ahead and click Add to Cart. And then we're going to Purchase for Myself. So if you haven't entered your credit card details already, what you can do is go ahead and add a Visa card or a PayPal account. Then we'll click Continue. And then we're going to enter our security code and then make this purchase. Now that this has been purchased, we can go ahead and click the Install Content button. Or we can always get this from the Library button here. We can do a search for our game. I can click this button here and click the install button. Here we're going to click next, agree, and then just let the game download and install. I can check the status of this in the download section and we're going to let this download the 79 gigabyte file. This is going to take me an hour and a half. This, this is because I have a relatively fast internet connection. This is going to completely depend on the speed of your home internet, so please be patient. So now that the game has finished downloading, we can go ahead and press the play button, or you can go to the library. You can type in five, and then you can select the game you've downloaded and press the play button. Here we can press play game, and the game should launch. So here the game is asking us to accept the end user license agreement. All we have to do is go ahead and press the accept button at the bottom of the screen. So what you're gonna find is that this game is gonna run extremely slowly. That's because this is running in DirectX 12. What we wanna do is to run this in DirectX 11. So what I'm gonna do is press the exit button here. So if you try to launch the game, what you're gonna find is that it's gonna run extremely slowly. So one of the reasons for this is because this is an Unreal Engine 4 game running under DirectX 12. However, we can actually get this to run much faster under DirectX 11. So here we're going to right click on the library file and click on properties. And then we're going to click general and I'm gonna add some launch options. So we're gonna type in the launch option dash force dash D3D11. So I'm gonna leave this in the description, but basically this is all you need. So there's another way of doing this. We can copy and paste this, and we can actually put this in a shortcut. So I can right click on here, go to properties, and then also go to local files, and then go to browse. So I can create a shortcut here by showing more options, then press create shortcut. And then I can also right click and go to properties, and then after the target, after that last double quote, and then we can type in space dash force dash space dash D3D11 and press OK. And then if we launch the game from that shortcut, it's gonna launch in DirectX 11. So you're gonna press play. So now this menu is running at the correct speed. We're getting a 400 FPS instead of, you know, two or three FPS from before. And now I'm just gonna tweak my settings and just see how this plays. So we've got full screen and put it on low. And yeah, let's try this game out. Press play, new game. So I can see this game is running. It's not running particularly fast. It's going around 30 FPS. This is a scene with a kind of mirror overlays post-processing. So there's a little bit of 3D work going on here. So it works kind of okay. If I go back to my settings here, I can just show you what my actual performance is like. So we go here and go to CPU memory. I've allocated six cores out of 10 and I've allocated 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is half of my RAM. And it's not running amazingly well, but it does actually work. I have an issue where I'm not able to turn my entire screen. So I'm just plugging in my wired control now, load this into the Windows 11 ARM operating system. And yeah, now I can turn all the way. So there's some issue with the mouse. It seems to be bounded to a window, but uh, if I use my controller, I can turn all the way around. I think I could probably get a higher frame rate if I reduce the resolution a little bit. So let's just try that. Let's go to 1280 by 720, which gives me 720p. Just press apply. It's like marginally better. 
So anyway, this game does work. It doesn't work particularly well, but you can probably play it all the way through. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you want to check out more video tutorials, there are plenty more M1 Mac tutorials on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.